The Hunter Brothers proudly present Hunting for Funny. Hello, folks, and welcome to Hunting for Funny, episode five. I'm Chris. And I'm Jack, and we're on a quest to find the funny in life. Yes, we are. So, Jack, have you had a nice week? Have you been you been happy and happy as Larry and whatnot? Yeah, to be fair, I've had a quite a good week. Good. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's been quite productive. I feel like I've done my training quite well, getting in the flow of things. Um, I've booked my tattoo in finally. Ooh, very getting fancy. Getting my sleeve finished. Very fancy. Big so, shout out to Steve. Big old Steve. His- <laughs> Steve Howitt, Blackwalt's tattoo. That's the one. That's who it is, the lad, the man, the myth, the legend. You know I'm that guy good. is insanely good at video games. Really? Uh, yeah, I think he's got a, a Nintendo set up in the tattoo place. Ask him to show you a speed runner, something he's insane. Definitely do that. <laughs> yeah, he's I'm mad. booked in for the uh, the end of September, so nice. I can't wait. That's good. Getting so, the rest that, of my uh, sleeve finished. That should be enough time to get stuff a bit calmer, figure out what's going yeah, on. Everyone's been open for a bit, so they're settled and they figure out, oh, yeah. the second wave's hitting, everyone's shut again. Um, well, yeah, he's never enough to gamble. <laughs> we'll figure it out. That's so, yeah, so all you can do. It's better than doing it straight away. I think yeah. the first wave of people are going to... It, it'll probably be fine to be fair but i think it'll yeah. be it'll be kind of hard to figure out what to do it's like when we had our first month in lockdown and everyone's yeah. like i'm gonna go mad and then by month two they're like eh, just at home aren't yeah it's like just, just life now isn't <laughs> yeah it, it just, just becomes the new normal yeah. as they say um but that's cool i've so got what, my uh got my hair cut today as well I did that first is very fancy like look at that weeks. look at me very fancy calm like down it. girls get the towels out i know yeah i know, I know you're uh <laughs> Dripping, oh, but God. yeah, calm down. Come on, watches this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to remind you every now and again. Oh, don't worry, we, we've said way worse. I just try, I try and block that out. Like, no one's listening, it's just you and me. No one's listening, which to be fair could also be true. I don't yeah, know, you never know. <laughs> if we're lucky. Um, well, that's cool. So, what, what are you actually getting on your sleeve? Uh, what's, what's your um, last piece that you're getting on, or is that a secret? Um, I'm getting a few pieces because my I've got the bottom half of my sleeve done, the top half of my sleeve done. So I need my elbow doing. I don't know. I don't know, don't know why I done that way. The elbow. But Have you had an elbow left. before? No, I've had a wrist done before. <laughs> right. Elbow's not great. Yeah, I was I've, gonna I've try and speak fun. to Steve about um, <laughs> numbing cream, but I thought he might gonna he might just have a go at me. He'll so just give you a dead arm and then do it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just just annoy him. Um, uh, I've got some um, Japanese quotes going in there. Nice. That you've helped me with. Yeah. I've got some. Uh, I've got the liver buildings going in there for Liverpool. Oh, cool. That'd be good. Um, doing a bit of a skyline for Liverpool. That should be quite That'd nice. Be nice. As well. Liverpool's got a uh, really nice skyline, so that, that's good. Yeah, yeah. It's super no, iconic. Be a, a nice thing to get. So yeah, maybe you get the Radio City Tower and stuff. and never know yet. Awesome. So. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, looking forward to it. Looking Brilliant. To it. So how's so, your bit week been? You've been doing much? My week's been alright actually. I've been playing. I, I won't name it specifically. Because it's, I've been playing a game that I made, <laughs> but I've been playing a lot of it. Like, it's weird. I, I played it a bit when I first finished it. I was like, okay, cool. I've, I've finished most of the story, but I've been looking yeah. at this game for ages, and I know it inside out. I'm gonna stop. Um, and I picked it up over, over the week, uh, the weekend, last weekend. I can't even remember why now. I think I just wanted to unwind. And the, the kind of games that I make are really, sort of, relatively easy and casual and just relaxing. Yeah. So, yeah, I've, I've played them too fair. There's a lot of this, they're quite, they're quite yeah, decent to play. There's a lot of like, <laughs> my, my main thing is I love filling out lists and check boxes and stuff, and there's a lot of collectibles in it. So yeah. I want to get that 100%. And so it's it's very satisfying yeah. to me when you're like, oh, you've got a new thing. you know. Exactly. Yeah. And so I've been playing a lot of that. Uh, like every lunch break, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I was so sick of that game at one point, and now I'm like, I need more. <laughs> I um, but to be fair, it's kind of nice. It's like a, a relaxing little bubble inside the lockdown. You know, True, yeah. where you need to go and yeah. just unwind. Like, I'll just play some nonsense in a city that doesn't exist. Uh, which, so that, that's know, been fun. Do you know if you made the games, you get extra piss off of the bosses because you made them and they still beat you? <laughs> like, like, <is> that, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Um, I created you and you fucking beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you have betrayed me. Yeah, sometimes it's, it feels a bit that way. But no, it's, it's, so that's been fun. And um, what else have we been doing? Oh, oh, speaking of games, there's a new game comes out tomorrow as of recording this. Uh, it's the Ghost of Tsushima. Have you seen anything about this? Not a clue. No. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it looks brilliant. It got announced at E3, I think, last year. Okay. Uh, and they just had a, like a little trailer, a cinematic trailer. It looked amazing. It's set in yeah. feudal Japan, so like ancient Japan. Yeah. Um, and they showed some gameplay of it last month, and it looks kind of like uh, like Assassin's Creed kind of gameplay. It's so, like yeah. you, you unlock bits of cities and stuff, and go and do tasks and have fights with samurai lords. Um, oh wow. But it looks like visually amazing. It looks like yeah. a really, really good thing, uh, and um, yeah, it looks amazing. And also, you can pet a fox in it, so it's already like you know, game <laughs> of the year. Fox. Yeah, you can pet a fox. 
So, you know, because you're like this guiding spirit and the fox is the spirit, I think. And if you're nice to it, you can pet it. That, like... that reminds me of a story. I was in uh, Slovenia. Oh, yeah. I was with an um, American player called Jensen. Jensen, and there was right. a Yeah, there was a dog on the side. And I was like, oh, I'd love to stroke that dog. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I'd love to stroke that dog. And he was like, what? Why? And I was like, that's what we do to dogs. He was like, no, you don't. You pet them, and I was like, it's the same thing. He's like, no, stroke means like masturbate. Uh, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. <laughs> I'm not that's, a that... dog. Just want, to, just want to pet it. Yeah, that's that's very that's definitely an interesting <laughs> take on the word. I wouldn't have even yeah. thought of that. <laughs> yeah, apparently, if you if you say like you're stroking it or you're stroking one off, it means like yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 Gonna call the RSPCA. Not, oh Jesus! Not, quite, not my cup of tea. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> not quite at all. Well, you know, to each their own. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm not one of the judgy folk, <laughs> although that's yeah, definitely well, something to be judged for. I was going to say that's illegal. So I made it sound like I'm a sympathiser or something. I'm <laughs> definitely not. Don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I've been waiting for that game to come out, so that comes out tomorrow. I'm very, very excited to play that. And also, I had my first fancy coffee since lockdown began. Ooh, yeah. You know, like from a coffee shop. Because, What's your choice? Well, my choice is Costa. Um, for, as Like for a coffee chain, Costa or Nero. I prefer Nero most of the time, but we have Costas around here. So oh, okay. I normally go there and I'll get myself a flat white or a caramel latte. Um, oh, nice. But recently, there's like there was there used to be a little chef round by us with a Burger King attached to it, like a tiny one, uh, and that got completely demolished. And now it's a Starbucks. So yeah. <laughs> so they have a drive-through, uh, which Charlie discovered by accident the other day. She was going to get petrol. <laughs> it's like next to a petrol station. Uh, oh, okay. And so yeah, we we got we got a coffee, and uh, I'm not a massive fan of Starbucks. I don't mind it, but it's not the best. Yeah. But I, I had it, and I, it was so unsatisfying. <laughs> I was so disappointed because <laughs> I, I had in my head this amazing coffee that I was ready to have yeah. that I always have at Costa. And yet I had it, I was like, ah, oh, all right, I guess yeah. that was coffee. <laughs> I, I did that with Mackey's as well. I got my first Mackey's since oh, right. like lockdown. I was yeah. like, oh, I was really made up, looking forward to it, got it, and I was like... And then you remember Mackey's is always just yeah, pretty it doesn't. It's not great, is yeah. it? And when you build it up in your head and you're like, it's not great. Yeah, there's it. a lot of things like that in life. you just got to learn to put yeah. them in the back of your mind. <laughs> just enjoy things as they arrive. That's the one. Um, I mean, I'm I'm new to the coffee world, to be fair, because I never used to drink coffee, but I drink quite a lot of that's coffee true, nowadays. Yeah. Do you but, like, do you make it yourself, like, uh, or do you, do, you, do you do you use instant coffee, or do you have like a, a press or something, or what do you do? I'm not a Tory, Chris. I have an instant coffee. That's you, you're not a Tory. <laughs> yeah. I've got four types of coffee in my house. We've got we've got a drip filter coffee. There's a cafetiere. There's a, wow. a a pod machine, and there's instant coffee. Wow, you've um, forgot your roots. That's what, that's what you've done. <laughs> I just like coffee. Okay. Um, I've a... even gone. I've even gone for decaf coffee. Like I just like the taste. I, that what never, a savage! Never appealed to me before, but now I just enjoy a coffee decaf. Now, to be fair, that's fine. The coffee's nice. I like the flavour of it. Um, yeah. I'm assuming. Let me guess. Ago, decaf. Let me guess. Milky two sugars. Yeah. There we go. Doesn't change. Two, two proper <laughs> sugars or, or five sweetness. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Don't bother with sweetness like that. It's, it's, it's not even worth it. You know, it's a little bit sweeter, but with a hint of cancer. Um, <laughs> do you know? Do you know coffee? By the way, since I'm new to this game, I do know coffee. Do you know if you drink coffee on an empty stomach, does it give you the screaming abdabs? It gives me the screaming abdabs. <laughs> if you drink too much coffee, or in any stomach. situation, it'll do that. But yeah. Oh really? Don't oh, don't start me... your morning with straight with coffee. I'm pebble dashing if I'm having a coffee before my breakfast. <laughs> oh, like Jesus. it's difficult. It's a podcast of a ten, isn't it? Sorry. It I... gets worse. I sometimes if you... I forget it's getting recorded and I feel like I just... not just recorded, shared, <laughs> broadcast with the world. Um, <laughs> Yeah, including your, your, you know, any any future people you may know who don't know you yeah. yet. It's, well, it's yeah. pretty, pretty fun, isn't it? Could be, could, it could be being watched by morning? aliens. Aliens yeah. might have iTunes well, yeah. or YouTube. We don't know. They're not going to come near me. They've got screaming abdabs. Me, leave yeah, me alone. Okay. You'll be not like an upside down chocolate fountain. Um, <laughs> but something else I've been doing this week is actually watching some of your things on the internet. My things? Your trick shots that you've been doing. Oh. <laughs> They've been getting gradually more and more elaborate from literally being asleep on the table. <laughs> to be in some weird, like you know, dude, or, uh, dude, perfect setup thing. It was really cool. <laughs> that took me so long to do as well. I bet did you seem happy like, about it? It was only three bats, like so. That I had it shooting from the robot and it hit three bats. Yeah. But the trouble with tabletop bats is because the rubber and the spin knocks off the bat, so I yeah. have to try and work out which spin would correlate with the other racket <laughs> to which direction it'd go. It, it took me five hours to do wow. that one shot. Well, you seem very, thought, very happy at the end. Oh, well, it's because we had a Tupperware box, but it didn't yeah. look cool enough just having a Tupperware box in your head. So Lucy got two of them and glue gunned them together. So oh, we God. broke two Tupperware boxes and they sat on the head. <laughs> you know what? It's worth it for the talk, you know? 
<laughs> well, we started like we started at ten o'clock at eight night at night, and yeah. I didn't finish until like three in the morning. Jeez. So, well, like, you know what? Tonight well spent. I bet your neighbours loved hearing that for, <laughs> for that that long. Jesus. Well, I was watching it. And, um, you know when that last one when you caught it on the top, yeah, I didn't yeah. even see the bats that it hit first. So I was like, uh, he's really happy about the fact that he just hit it. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I mean, it's impressive still, but for you, that's like, okay, you can do yeah. that. But I didn't see the bits Burning before. Buster. It's all, all the setup and stuff. So yeah, yeah that, but that's been entertaining me all week. I love that seeing little snippets. Um, a lot of people who messaged me were like, "You actually training?" I was like, "Yeah, I do actually train. I yeah. just spend a lot of time." Yeah, it's just a joke. That. You just like <laughs> this is when you're knackered from training. <laughs> um, right, so yeah, that's. I've not been doing much this week, so that's about it for me. So I yeah. must ask you, Jack, what's bugging you? Oh, this week has been one that's. Um, it's been in the news as well a little bit. All right. Um, Good old Uncle Boris. Uncle Boris is um, announced that we're going to wear face masks. Yes. It's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Why he's doing it four months into a lockdown, I've no idea. Like that's like taking condoms to the baby shower. It really is. Like I don't understand why you're doing it. Why not do it to start while go? You've got corona. <laughs> like don't get what you do. But anyway, he's he's mentioned, he's mentioned face masks. So people are wearing more face masks. I've been wearing mine for what five six weeks now in the yeah. shops. Feel quite comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. But people are wearing them. The fucking nose hanging out. What? Yeah. What is that about? I don't yeah. understand what you're doing. People at Charles work do that, and she screams about it every day. It doesn't make any sense. No. It's like wearing your boxes online, with your bits hanging out. I was gonna say it's like having trousers <laughs> on every willy hanging out. Like, what's the what's the point? Yeah, it's not the ideal Honestly. way of doing it. And it's usually like the old people, and you're they're the ones who are gonna die. Do you get it? Yeah. Like, why could, could you know up? <laughs> yeah, I saw a guy the other day when we were driving past. He had it just around his neck. Yeah. Like, fully, it's like that's not even on you. Like a double chin hammock. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a ball chinian. Maybe that's what it is. You're just hiding it. Honestly, it's so frustrating to watch. And you want to say something, you want to say, like, put your mask on, but yeah. it's not my uh, thing. Or people have put masks on, so they think it's okay just to be two inches away from the back of my head. Oh, still Jesus. stay away from yeah, me. Yeah, it's, it's like, still, you know it's still I mean? two like... meters, people. It's still two yeah. meters. Don't think it's one anymore. It's one yeah. It's one when it cannot physically be two. Exactly. That's where yeah. it is. It's not, oh, now I can be where I want because I've got a mask on. No. It yeah. reduces the chance of it spreading. It doesn't make you fucking immune. So Even Iron Man can catch it in his suit. <laughs> too fair. I see. Have you seen the uh, the news articles about the, the young girls in America who have been dressing up as old ladies at masks on to get alcohol in the shops? <laughs> no. No, like, but are they your heroes? <laughs> there were just, just stories about these like girls. They were right. like 18, but you can't drink at 21. Of course. Yeah. So, they, so they bought like the Nan Zimmer them. frames. They wore masks, like a grey a gray, um, wig and like a hat over the top. And they've gone in and like, got loads of alcohol. Cheeky boogers. That's just genius. Absolute cheeky Absolute boogers. genius. <laughs> I like the, I like the style. I've got to say it's it's very like you know nineties oh, teen film. <laughs> absolutely. If I was a shop assistant, like you'd probably tell, but I'd be like, yeah, there's a lot of effort in that. Take it. So just uh, go for it. I, I don't think I would, but we're we're different people. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say go home, you bastard. Um, <laughs> what's bugging you this week? What's uh, going on with you? You know what's really bugging me? It's something it's something positive, but I can't enjoy yet. <laughs> right. Okay. Jack, I want a burger. I want a fucking burger. <laughs> I want to go to my favourite cafe in the world, cafe at the end of the universe, yeah. and get me a pissing burger from the pissing king of pissing burgers himself, Andy. And they're open now. They're open right now. Oh, no, they closed an hour ago, but they're open now. Um, Metaphorically. Yeah, and I want to go. We are going to go at some point soonish. We're just not mm. ready yet. It's like we don't trust people yet. We trust yeah. them. We just don't trust people in Warrington. Um because you know we're, they're open a bit later, which is good. They're open. I think it's eleven till seven, something okay. like that. So yeah. we're thinking of going one like a weekday evening at like six ish or something. You know, just to yeah. it should be a quiet period. You'd hope. Um, so yeah, yeah the, what, what's bugging me is that I'm. Oh, I just want a beggar. I completely I've, I've, feel you on that as well because I've I've been following uh, Andy on TikTok yeah. and it's oh, quite yeah. funny to He's <laughs> got loads of great ones. Because I've actually never spoke to Andy. I've only ever seen him right. spoke to his missus a little bit. But yeah, yeah I've never. So I guess I've he's done in the kitchen, isn't he? I was going to say I've never really like seen his personality. And yeah. he seems like a nice guy, but I'm, he's quite funny on TikTok. Yeah, he's funny. He's, I've been wanting a burger, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's, that's what's been driving me crackers. I've tried some. I've made a couple <laughs> at home that have been pretty banging to be fair yeah but they're nowhere near his standard yeah i was gonna and say yeah. that's what i need i need it in my life so that's what's been bugging <laughs> me that is what's been bugging me um if you could make a hunting funny burger what would you make it of well it'd have to, to be some... hunter's chicken <laughs> Clever. so you've got yourself yeah. chicken barbecue sauce bit of melted yeah. cheese oh. uh onion rings and i would 
put a little bit of Japanese mayo on it. Nice. Because that Kewpie mayonnaise. Have you ever had Kewpie? No. no. I've had wasabi because you told me it was mushy peas. Charlie told <laughs> you it was mushy peas. I was in the toilet. <laughs> she filmed it, remember? I thought I was dying. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. I can't believe she she waited till I left as well to do that to you. Because she knew I'd stop like, her. I was like, why has this Japanese restaurant got mushy peas? And I was yeah. like, oh, whatever. Like, oh, well, it's fish and chips, isn't it? The mushy peas in it, wasabi. Oh, man, that oh. stuff will blow your sinuses out. It's great. <laughs> like, it's it's nice, but it's it's weird because it, it's so sudden. Like, it'll yeah, be completely it's... fine. Like, it's kind of weird, gritty pace, and it's like, yeah. boof. And your whole face, it just suddenly, Shitty. like, feels like oxygen yeah. is on fire inside it. <laughs> um, and then it'll just go away like that. Like, it'll be there for five or six seconds and then just go like it never happened. <laughs> yeah. And it's so weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's I don't know how we got talking about wasabi. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I put Japanese mayo on it because <laughs> the the Kewpie mayonnaise they use um, I think they use the yolks more than uh, they use the whites, uh, and so it's like a, a a richer one. You don't need to even put it in the fridge. It's really weird. Yeah, they use a different kind of vinegar as well. It's really good. So wow. that'll be on it. I've been putting that on burgers. It's amazing. Um, wow. Yeah. What about you? If you had to make a hunting for funny burger, I think I would. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I'd put actually, I'd definitely have beef on there. Of course. I think because this you're gonna like this Chris, because I think we've created a lot of beef at our idiots of the week. So I think we should have beef on there. Oh you just wait. <laughs> My idiot of the week kind of correlates to something you just said. <laughs> so kind of kind of fits think, the bill. I think since you've got no hair we'd have a day with no bun on. I think hey. like we'd have no top bun. What do you <laughs> and call the bottom this? would be like the bottom for my legs would be like a broken bun. Like, I love that so idea. Finished. Just a soggy bun at the bottom, <laughs> just dangling. <laughs> Not really that functional, but there for sure. You have to have it dripping like, off the edge of the plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Bit of soggy lettuce in the middle. Oh, Andy, if you're listening, we need this burger sorted out. Yeah, we do. Oh, the hunt of a funny burger. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, we'll be we'll do an opening that. for you. Cut That's the ribbon the <laughs> on our little plate. Oh, that'd be great. When I get that. my tattoo done, I'll, I'm doing two days. I'm doing six hours over. I'm doing twelve hours over two days. Right, Jesus. Um, so uh, in that night time, we'll try and come down because it'll be yeah, that'd be good. The, yeah, the weekend we'll get a burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sort it good. out. We'll sort details out off the air, but that sounds yeah. cool. Yeah, we'll. Um, <laughs> so Jack, who? It, it's time for idiot and hero of the week. We don't right. have an intro, so I just say it that way. So I'm going to start intro with coming. you. Don't there you is an intro coming. Work. I've been I'm told this for two or three weeks now. There is an intro coming, people. (laughs) Episode 25, it'll be there. Uh, It's worth it, it's worth it. It is, to be fair. Vanilla vanilla ice, eat your cock out. Um, (laughs) He doesn't have a heart, he sees, that's why. He's just a massive dick, so... um, Wow. (laughs) Anyway, idiot of the week, you can go first. Oh, right, this one. It's been been troubling me for many years. Is it me? My idiot of the week week is heartburn. Oh, tell me about it. Well, uh, I'm acid reflux, but go on. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's the same thing. I, don't know, I have no idea. I don't think I've ever had heartburn, but I have acid reflux. Oh, either daily. way, it's painful, man. It's today. I was thinking about idiots a week, and I had massive heartburn, and I had it last night. Couldn't lie down. And it's just a pain in the ass. Like, what is it for? What is it function? Doesn't help me. What, Body's what not is doing she? Anything. Who is it's she? It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. It's like snow. Like, what is snow? What's it do? Freezes plants, doesn't water them. Freezing cold, stuck in my tyres. I think it does water, you know. <laughs> ah, freezes them. Right. Yeah, it's cold, it's not water. So, yeah, heartburn. Fair enough. Heartburn. <laughs> Pissing me off. I Rennies. A biological off. byproduct. I had a mate um, called Gav that died of heartburn. It's like his gun has gone. I just go, oh, you stole my joke, Chris. <laughs> I can't believe Gav is gone. <laughs> That's what you get for being so cheap. <laughs> Oh, low hanging fruit boy. There where you thought, has he dropped the uh, level of the podcast there as he's telling the joke? No. You're like, I'm not sure we had friend you, you, you often <laughs> drop the level of the podcast with the jokes, so it's a twofer. <laughs> well, I, I agree with your idiot of the week. Like I said, I get acid yeah. reflux almost every day. And don't worry, folks, I've been to the doctors about it. It's not the big ick. Yeah, uh, I did that. I, I literally I, had, I um, again, what do they call so it, that thing that pregnant women have? Um, when they scan your belly for a baby. Fannies. Well, I've always got that, but no, it's the, um, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Uh, not a periscope. Um, uh, something scan. Um, a pregnancy scan? Yeah, but what's the word? Anyway, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, but they do the oh, thing right, like a ultrasound. sonar on your belly. Ultra scan, no, thank you. Not... <laughs> I've been to have an ultra scan on me tum tum, <laughs> and all was good. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm one of the few men who've had an ultra scan and is have you, have you developed ovaries for listening to Frozen too many times? <laughs> nah, that's not possible. If anything, everything should shrink back up, shouldn't it? So match the target audience. 
<laughs> By the way, I watched Frozen 2 last week. Uh, actually, I sent oh, you pictures, I didn't I? I was, like... I was going to say, I've, I've seen your uh, Frozen pictures all week. Have you watched half of them today? <laughs> I only watched, there's only two of them, but I watched them one each night, so you know. Um, <laughs> right, my idiot of the week. And you're not going to like this anymore. Right. But you would have before you started talking before. And this this comes from Charlie, but I have now seen it a lot, and it's annoying me too. Right. It is people <laughs> recycling the idea that using a mask is like using a condom at a baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> because it's common sense to wear masks. You're going to save lives. Even if you only start doing it now, it's not like it's a lost cause. And it's yeah. the same as using a condom. You know, if you use a mask now, you prevent more deaths. If you use a condom now, you prevent thick-ass fucking stupid kids. So they should always be both, always worn, always done. It's not hard. Put a mask on, put a Johnny on, do what you do, get on with your life. And stop <laughs> using cheap jokes. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> stop robbing your jokes on Facebook, basically. Yeah, That's basically, what you're yeah. For. You can't really put the Johnny on the baby, though, after it's been born. Like, it doesn't work. You can if you don't want it anymore. It's a, it works a treat. A they can't wiggle or nothing. It works a treat. <laughs> you're like, oh, I don't want this. In the river. Straight. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> they float, I assume. I've never done it, but... Anyway. Yeah, so, on to oh, the God. sweet, delicious icing that is our shit cupcake. We need to get shit yeah. cupcake t-shirts, by the way. I just we thought do need that. to get shit cupcake t-shirts. Totally. Yeah. I'll get Charlie on it. T-shirts. <laughs> um, by the way, folks, we have merch. Go buy it. Teespring.com yeah. forward slash hunting for funny. Um, we yeah, also so, have face masks that cover your nose. We do Stop have face masks. That cover your nose. <laughs> yeah, your actual nose. Basically, if you've got a hole in your face, cover it. Yeah. It's that easy. Take that. It's that easy. Your, your ear, can you get corona on the ears? I don't think so, actually. I, I, I although it makes sense because they're connected to your throat, aren't they? Mm. Your nose and throat. I don't know. Anyway, don't know. who's your hero, Jack? Apart from me, of course. <laughs> My hero of the week is drum roll. <laughs> Wireless charging. That's yes. My, uh, that's yes. My hero of I'm the week. Absolutely on board for this guy. I've bought a wireless charger and it's revolutionary. Not only life. a wireless charge, you got the big boy. You got the sexiest charge I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so go and tell the lovely people what it is. Well, I've got the. Um, I don't know what company it's from, but it's basically got a... You can charge three phones at the same time. Wow. Um, one wirelessly, one wired, and then a USB to charge anything you want. Brilliant. Um, so it's like so a power was, bank as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's meant to be 125 quid. Yeah. And I've got, I'm on Vodafone, so I get like the deals. Oh, the very me thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get that as well, yeah. So I, I looked at it, and it was like 60 quid, and I was like, that's wow. far too much for a charger. But it came with a three-year warranty, and I thought, well, I buy wires like every two months for 15 quid. <laughs> well, there and you it go. always breaks, and it's pain Yeah, you're sorted. So, um, yeah, just bought a wireless charger, and it's boss. Like, just literally, charges. I spent about 20 minutes just phone on, phone off, phone off, phone off, like, literally. But I think we broke Lucy's bank card, because she's had a bank card in a phone case, and then I Googled oh, it. Oh, don't it, do that. And uh, it strips the magnet off the yeah, bank card. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it probably says a lot on the box as well, and, like, in yeah. the packaging and stuff. Mm. Yeah, so I've not really read the box. I just plugged it in. Yeah, that's, that's kind of your way. Yeah. <laughs> I've never known you to stop through. and look at something. Like, yeah, how does this work? Down, I'll just figure it out. I put my two tactics is either figure it out if I can't figure it out I'll ring you and then you figure yeah, it out yeah I know you do that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly how I know you don't read instructions who needs Google when you can call Chris your brother much easier yeah and, much then, easier. and then Chris has to be like I'll stop what I'm doing for 20 minutes <laughs> and figure out your shit <laughs> that's what we do it's what brothers do um, so that's cool so your hero of the week is a charger I like it yeah wireless like charger it. I like it very much um, my hero this week, I was thinking of this, like, you know, obviously been working from home for ages. So most days my work uniform is pajamas of some variety. Nice. I have about six pairs now. Um, two of which have got pockets in the pants. So my hero is whoever the hell invented pockets in pajama pants because it feels <laughs> it feels like I'm in work. I've got pants on, you know. I can when when I want to walk around, I can put my phone in my pocket, just wander off, get myself a coffee, you know. It's like it's so much easier than just thinking, where's my phone? Or where's this? Or where's that? It's just boom, pockets. And so it's genius. And I, I can see I why women get pissed off for not having pockets in like a lot of their dresses and stuff, you know, because yeah. like, where do you put your stuff? Obviously, you have a bag or whatever, but that's inconvenient. How about bra, just put pockets and everything? Bra. I saw a comedian the other day. This is a bit of a tangent. But was, there was a comedian on on, uh, on TikTok, a little clip of her, and she was a uh, rotund individual. A what? She's like 600 pounds. Oh, big old lass. Right. She's a big Massive. old lass. Right, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> she's on stage telling the joke about something. And she's like, Ooh, yeah. ooh I'm hot. I need a drink. And then she just reaches into her bosom and pulls out a glass. 
<laughs> and then people like cheering and going nuts. And then she goes, talking, keeps talking about stuff. You know, sometimes you're just a bit hot. And, you know, she puts her other hand in the other side, pulls out <laughs> a bag of ice cubes, <laughs> puts them in the glass, pulls out another one. There's some orange juice in a bottle. <laughs> and then another one, a full vodka bottle. Wow. It's like, wh- how, where, how? So I'm assuming that just gravity does its job and clings stuff in place. I don't know, but man, that was amazing. And the crowd is losing it, just watching her pull out item after item, like some sort of boob-related TARDIS, just pulling everything out. And it was brilliant. So yeah, that's that would be convenient. So you're not wrong there. Yeah. You could store stuff in the bar. I know people used to do that in the cinema, like, you know, not when staff aren't supposed to have the phone on them. Yeah. The girls would always, you just see like a glow come from the chest yeah. all the time, uh, which is really annoying because you work in the dark all the time. So you're like, I can see that. <laughs> it's just boop 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 in the corner. I remember, I remember a guy and used to know called Gary had one leg and he used to go around on like crutches. Right. But he used to wear like jeans and fold the or jean leg he's not obviously not using. Oh yeah, I've uh, seen that. Underneath it's kind of tie, tie it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what he used to do in the cinema is put like a two liter bottle of coke in the bit where his leg must have been like tie it up. <laughs> just fling it. Yeah, he was telling me a story. He was like, so he's going along and he's, yeah. he's got his sweets and coke in that in there. And then the bottom of the tie just like undoes like oh, when no. it's all falls out. <laughs> So he's like, I'm really sorry. And the woman goes, you can take them in anyway. We yeah, I was going to say, that. So if, like, if that was Cine World, they let you take your stuff in anyway. It was. Oh, they don't do all that effort for years. What a genius. <laughs> yeah, there's, having worked at both major chains of Odin and Cine World, yeah, Cine World just let you take in whatever you want as long as it's not yeah. hot. If it's hot food or smelly food, you can't take in. So What's your class of smelly food, though? Like, you know, takeaway pizza or something. or uh, Basically food that you can smell. It doesn't have to smell bad. Just food that you can people? smell. So, well, I would like to kick out smelly people. We used to serve <laughs> a lot of smelly people. You say cinemas probably attract smelly people. Yeah, sometimes it's the staff, sometimes it's the it's the clientele. <laughs> everyone <laughs> everyone has a bit going on. It's a lot of popcorn on the floor. I used to chuck out. A lot of popcorn, a <laughs> lot of grease, a lot of stank. Uh, it's just just a stinky place to work. Fun place, but a stinky place. Um, oh, uh, talking about pajama bottoms. Yes. I've been doing the exact same as you. I mean, I, I only wear like undies. Probably like once a week, <laughs> like when we're leaving the house. Like, right. not, what, what's the point in them? Why oh, I see. But you are wearing them? Jimmy's the rest of the time. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not just like bullet naked. Yeah, I was going to say you just Donald Duck in it the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a to Definition behold, of smart and casual. Just yeah. Like a shirt and not, not, <laughs> You're forgetting not. your on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Doing your push-ups with three hands. <laughs> <laughs> tripod. Look at me tripod. <laughs> oh, Why only go down two inches and you press up so well? well I've got no... <laughs> Have you ever heard the Tenacious D song called Push Ups? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, oh. were you saying something then? I just, feel, <laughs> just went on a weird thing. No, just... no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Well, that, uh, have you said you're a hero of the week yet? You haven't have near the charger, yes. Okay. Wireless charger. In that case, that leads us on to everybody's favourite section. That is the celebrity impression section. So in this part, we do Ugh. an impression of a celebrity who has been randomly generated before the podcast. We both don't know who the other celebrity is going to be, but we have to give a scenario to each other to act out as that celebrity. Does that sound clear to you, Jack? Yes. Yes, it does. I figured I should start explaining it to people because I yeah. realised we only did that the first episode. <laughs> and the rest, they'd be like, what yeah. the fuck do you mean celebrity impression time? What is this? So yeah. <laughs> so you can go first, Jack, because I'm nice. Oh, I love right, putting the pressure okay. on you. It makes me relax a bit. I um, I've, I've done the generator before. I think but I've, oh, I've just seen where it is. Right, okay. Oh. So you've got... Right, okay. So your scenario, your first scenario, because we do two each, your first scenario is you've pre-ordered a game that hasn't arrived when it was supposed to on release day. So you're on the phone complaining to the shop that you bought it from. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to get into character this one. Okay, go on. This is where the career goes down the pan. Right. What career? Come on. <laughs> Now listen here, guys. My uh, package has not arrived, and I feel like it's woo, not arrived yet. So um, if you could dance, spin around the Panama Studios, we should be getting the DVD arriving today, not tomorrow. It's pre released darlings. You know what? That can't be offensive because it's so spot on. That is absolutely Louis Pence. That's the one. And you know, I didn't even need the Panama Studios reference. I got that from the second you started. That, you know, you know what? You know what? Ladies Thanks, and gents, that is a that. very well deserved applause. That wasn't even that wasn't even like kind of good. That was Bob on. Oh, thanks. Bravo, <laughs> sir. Your new career. I got a big, big zoom and kicked my tripod. I was doing that. That's all right. I don't think you could, I don't think the camera wobbled. I didn't see. I was laughing too much. Oh well, then that was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah. There we go. Bravo. Oh god. Right. So go on. What's my first scenario? Your scenario is. 
um, you're driving home, mm -hmm. stuck in traffic, and you've shit yourself in the most way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I almost did this once. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah, last I think it was last year. Driving oh, home, I was like, uh-oh. I remember my dad telling me a story about this where he nearly shot himself in the motorway and run into me down. It's, it's a long it's story. Done. Yeah, it's easily done. Um, he said right. he went up his back near his neck, but anyway, carry on. Neck? <laughs> Jeez, was he in a wreck on the way there? <laughs> um, right, okay, so my, my celebrity. Okay, so driving home, um, have shit myself or about to shit myself? Um, it's very important. About, about okay. to shit yourself, I'd say. <laughs> right, okay. <clears throat> Let me try and remember this guy's voice now. Alright, I'm driving home. I'm going, going down the motorway. I used to be a footballer. I like football. Football was great. Uh-oh. 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 Victoria. Victoria, I'll shit myself. Ah oh, no. <laughs> that's fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't know what it sounds like. Well, that's, that's probably not it, but he's got your hairstyle. I was thinking, is Joe Pasquale play football? I, I can't go as high as Joe Pasquale. <laughs> <laughs> I love Joe Pasquale. Twin Squeaks is one of the best stand-up comedies ever. I'm going to say um, that is David Beckham. Yes. A very, very poor David Beckham. A very, very poor David Beckham. I don't know what Some it sounds reason like. Some reason you lifted your shoulder up and lost your neck. Because you were doing it as well. <laughs> like I don't know. Toddler over the steering I think, wheel. I think I put my hand up to steer. Oh. <laughs> right, yeah. It's a bad one. It's a bad one. That That's was, okay. That was all right. I'll give you that. It, was all right. <laughs> it wasn't as good as your perfect <laughs> Louis Spence. Who set the bar that high? Um, all right. That's your... fabulous, darling. I really like your David Beckham impressions. <laughs> this woo. Get out there, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. We have to clip that and tag him. Um, <laughs> no context. Have air hunting is funny. Oh man, that'd be good. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love. I, I watched um, Two Bears One Cave with you know, Tom Scott and Bert Kreischer. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else with uh, oh, two, yeah, I watched that two too, girls. But no, that's, that. <laughs> oh god, no! But uh, they they have a no context Twitter that somebody else has made. Oh, okay. them, but it's just so funny because Bert Kreischer pulls the weirdest faces when he's talking, <laughs> or when he's really passionate about something, and they normally yeah. just freeze frame that and like no context. Oh, god, it's weird. <laughs> uh, right, your second scenario. Uh, you're Ooh. trying to explain to the wife why your kid's teacher is half naked in the garage. <laughs> Boy or girl? Make that what you will. <laughs> It's 2020, it doesn't matter. Oh, right, I can see what we've got here, right? So I think it's absolutely fantastic that there's a, uh, a bloke in the garage that's got no pants on. I think he seems to think to, he, he hums this thing to, he's got a big massive cock, I mean, he's going to be a star. He's going to be a star out oh. there, I don't know why he's in the garage, though. <laughs> I know who it is now, it changed person. <laughs> I know. So many it's times in my head. Eric Irish, man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, it's Irish, it must be, uh, what's his face from the MMA? But now, <laughs> that's it, yeah. Who the but fuck no, is that guy? <laughs> who is it? Who the fuck's that guy? Who does he think he is? No, it's it's um Louis Walsh. Louis Walsh, that's yes. the one. -ish. All of, yeah. all the Louis today. Yeah, I, that? I just I can sort of do a sort of Irish ish. So, not not uh, sort of one. you can do Irish. Yeah, I, not Irish, I, but it's Irish. Irish. Yeah. I like I the think sounds I'm of that. Just offended the whole of Ireland, but uh, it's what we do. It's fine. <laughs> I think I'll just suck his car for a million. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> hey, whatever works. <laughs> a million's a million, you know what I'm saying? Been mad to tear it down. Not right. gay, but 20 quid's 20 quid. <laughs> anyway, <carry> Anyway. <laughs> oh, man. And next up on 90s humour. <laughs> Anybody's gay after a six pack? No. Um, right, yeah, okay. What, right. What, on the no, that, no. My best mates. No. <laughs> no, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> This is not as bad as it sounds. Okay, well, it sounds like One it's gone bad. One of my best Jodie, right? She's yes. a lesbian. Okay. And she's got this joke that she pulls at every single party and every single pre-drinks. Right. And she goes, what's the difference between a lesbian and a straight girl? We go, I don't know. And she goes, two vodka and cokes. And then winks at a local straight girl. <laughs> so she's not wrong. I've, I've seen that work a lot. I used to know I used to know some lesbians and that, that kind of stuff would work all the time. Um, right, what's my second scenario? Your scenario is... Um, you're crossing the road. Someone's run up behind you and punched you in the back of the head. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> so what? I'm at the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you're waiting to cross, and someone's like not hit you really hard, just like like. Oh right. Like, okay. Okay. Away. It's, it's not an assault. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'll just push push the button. 
I, I, I love waiting for the lights. <laughs> I can't remember his voice. I'm going to admit it. <laughs> the names. Okay. <laughs> Did you just hit me in the head? Do you know who I am? No. No. Neither do, I. Neither do I. I've lost it completely. He's gone Irish. He's gone Irish. Is it Louis Walsh? No. I can't think of anything else to say now. I've completely lost uh, what he is. Uh, All right, that, that'll be, be it. I'll have a poor guess. Is it Johnny Depp? No, it's meant to be Sean Connery. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You didn't, didn't even slay your ashes. I say, I'm I say, crossing the lights. Did you punch me in the head? <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't get it out. I don't know what's going on tonight. I've just <laughs> Oh god, they've been so bad tonight. I thought it was either Morgan Freeman or Johnny Depp, so there was no idea Sean Connery. I really need to practice any impressions. Yeah. I, just... I don't do any. That's the fun of this, isn't it? It's trying to guess I'm who that awful yeah. impression is. If we were good at it, we'd be doing something else. Getting paid to do it. Um, all right, fair enough. Well, that's the end of the celebrity section this week. Oh, God. So, we move Enjoyed on to that. the part... It was good, in it? We move on to the part where we talk about the question we asked the viewers and listeners last week, which was, uh, who is the artist, musician, or band that you've listened to the most or discovered during lockdown? Yeah. So, uh, I put that question out on the old TikTok, and I got a few responses. Uh, but first, nice. we should give people our responses. So, would you like yeah. to go first, or would you like me to go first? Uh, you can go first this week. Okay. I discovered a band a few weeks ago. Uh, again, I, I, keep, I seem to mention Mike Shinoda's beat-making streams every week. But he, um, before one of his streams started, he had like a playlist playing. Yeah. And there's this song came on. I was like, this is a fucking awesome song. And I had a link to it. And I went and listened to the band. And I've heard loads of stuff now. And I like a lot of it. It's okay. weird, but good weird. Um, it's a band called Caro Caro Benito. Ooh. They're from London. Um, except the, the the girl singer, it's like an electro kind of fun band. I don't know okay. how to describe it. It's two guys who make like the electronic music, and then there's a girl who's the singer of it, and she is a Japanese native. But she moved to London when she was thirteen, so she just sounds like a Cockney, but then okay. she also knows Japanese, and yeah. it's like a weird mix of stuff. So she'll she'll mix it in in the songs randomly, like oh that sentence was in Japanese and then now it's in English, um, <laughs> but this song called flamingo look it up it's called Ke it's called flamingo and it's by caro caro benito um right. I'll, I'll link it below if i, if I remember uh, but it's it's easily the, it's the most instant happy mood song i've ever heard like i, I can't help but be happy listening to this song and i've never yeah, yeah. i've never experienced that before i've had songs that do the opposite to me um <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah you play black orchid by blue october and crack a smile oh, i dare you yeah. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. but um but yeah this one it's just it's so fun and jovial and it's such a catchy tune as well. It's a proper like earworm, but yeah. it's it's great. So I recommend Caro Caro Benito to people. Um, but yeah, I hit the question out to TikTok and I had a reply from a few people, one of which I'd never heard of this even type of music, let alone the artist, but somebody called Nice In It, who's a, I think is a Scouser. Uh, they said, Scouse Trapping Trems. <laughs> now, you what? <laughs> yeah, I've never ever heard of Scouse, Scouse Trapping Trems. <laughs> Never heard of them. I didn't Trapping even know. Trims. Have you heard of trap music? There's like um, dubstep and there's trap and there's all this kind oh, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mumble yeah. rap and all that. It's kind of towards that lane of stuff. Trap's right. not bad, but it's not great. Um, this is basically a scouse trap. So imagine when you when you hear like Cockneys doing their thing and they're thick on yeah. the accent with it. This is a scouser thick on the accent with it. Nice. And it's weird. It's I it's not my cup of tea, but I can totally see how somebody would like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you mean? So yeah, if you're into that kind of music and you want something a bit different, Scouse Trapping Trems. Scouse Trapping Trems. Try that. Yeah, yeah. give it a go. Um, somebody who you'll definitely like the username of uh, and you'll be sad you missed out on it. Uh, Ian Moore Sweaty Sack 69 Oh, yes. <laughs> said Stone Roses. Oh, that's nice. Um, I've <laughs> that, wasn't never... this, that wasn't the same as the <laughs> You're like, Bollock Lick is 25. No. <laughs> Gimps are us. <laughs> <laughs> <one's> like <laughs> They're cracking band them. Uh, oh, I do know a Japanese band called the Sex Machine Guns. Uh, and there's also the Skullfuck Revolvers. They're two different bands. Um, <laughs> both gun-related. Um, but yeah, so... The sex Machine Gun just whack you in the end of dildos? No. <laughs> no, it's not, they don't do that. But yeah, he said the Stone Roses, who I've never actually heard. Uh, uh, to be fair, I've never really heard them. But I know they have a massive following. I think it's like a yeah. cult following. And weirdly, one of their biggest things... I think they released a film about one of their biggest concerts or like a comeback gig or something. Yeah. And of all places, it was in Spike Island and Witness. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, what's that about? 
Nobody knows who Spike Island is. Um, There's a big thing going on in Facebook at the moment because they're trying to build on Spike Island really? and get rid of the lock, I think. Oh, yeah, good. and they're trying to stop that because of Stone Roses and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, a, that's good it's got that support because it's a really nice area to walk around yeah, and go on yeah, bike rides and stuff. Nice. You shouldn't block that. Um, and the last one from the old TikTok was somebody called uh, W Tad Panda who said Eminem. So oh. easy enough. Um, they've been listening to a lot of Eminem during lockdown. Nice. I haven't listened to Eminem for years. Last time I did, Another, it was right. quite, quite an impressive song I had. Um, but yeah, so yeah. What about you? Who have you got oh. to tell us stuff? Well, or or yourself, cheated, actually, first. I've, I've cheated a little bit on mine. Because right. they're not ones I've discovered. It's like rediscovered. Okay, that's fine. It's just so, stuff you've been listening to the most. Yeah. So what I've listened to a lot, actually, is Blue October. Good. Which is a band that I've not... I've, obviously, I've listened to a lot. We went to a concert years ago. Yes. And it's a band that, obviously, I, I love. But you know, just don't get around to listening to the songs, I yeah. think. Usually, you've heard them so much, you don't put them in circulation that Exactly. Often. Yeah, yeah. I've I been mean, in the, the same with Lincoln well. Park. I've been working through the discography last week. Yeah, no, it's completely the same. Like, the songs for me, like, evoke quite a lot of emotion, good and bad. And, yeah. like, it's strange now. Like, I I went through a difficult time a few years ago, and the, mm-hmm. the songs really helped in them sort of situations. But listening to them now, when I'm all right, yeah. you get a whole different meaning of the song as well. Yeah. You've got to be in the right just, mindset to listen to them. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Especially Justin the older is such stuff. an incredible songwriter yeah like, absolutely incredible he's, he's, he's the definition of a, of a poetic lyricist you know he's really absolutely yeah and yeah. the fact that he, he he writes it sounds cheesy but he does write from the heart like he means what he's saying and yeah. it comes across uh it, with the with the songs and the the other one i've um rediscovered is shotty horror i don't know if you heard of shotty horror Sh- shotty horror shotty no. horror yeah so i i originally discovered shotty horror from watching battle rap years ago oh yeah, i used yeah. to watch a lot of battle rap videos yeah I'm not like massively into rap but the, the way they use their lyrics and the rebuttals and stuff, it, it's mad how they, yeah. how they do it and stuff. So, That's great. I love um, it. He was like the top of Don't Flop, which is like the biggest league. Yeah. And then he did some rap songs, which are oh, right. decent. But then he also brought out, I think it was last year, he brought out with like a, a rock album. Oh, cool. Like an indie rock album. And it's so good. Like it's underrated. Like everyone should be listening to it, I think. Um, and what? then uh, Shorty Horror, Shorty I follow Horror. on Twitter. Right, and he started wrestling. He's a mad wrestling fan. Oh, and he's cool. Training, well, and he's going to be in the UK. And he, I think he followed me on Twitter. I don't know why. Really? He follows me on Twitter. We'll give him so, a shout uh, out. This shout out, shout out, Shotty Horror. Shout out to Shotty Horror. I think there's a song. The album "Salt of the Air." Right, it's unbe- an unbelievable album. It's got a song called "Lanyards." I think it's really, really good. Cool. I think I've listened to it quite a lot. So yeah, I think uh, I have to give that a go. He's, he's up there for me, and yeah, good luck with the wrestling. If you need cool. a manager, let me know. Yeah, be, well, you, you've decent. done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> if you fair, see a wheelchair yeah. clothesline, you know your man. <laughs> um, so, all right, cool. So, what have people wrote to you to say that they've been discovering, and listening to? Yeah, I got um, a decent response to fair. And uh, again, thanks very much for everyone that's uh, contact has responded. We really, yes, really do you. appreciate the listeners and, yeah. and everything like that. I'm sorry we so, can't get through them all all the time. We, we do get a lot of responses, so we try and get through yeah. a few of them. Uh, not yeah. loads, because then people get a bit sort of leery after a while. So we try and do a few and then yeah. share some on Twitter or whatever. So we're going to yeah, try and exactly, do that more so. often. We just keep forgetting. Yeah, but we are going to message you back individually and yes. try and, and we'll share the videos with you and stuff like that. So yeah, totally, yeah. Not to worry. Um, we had Phil Johnson and he, re- he rediscovered or discovered in the show Meat Loaf. Oh, right. Which I, I love Meat Loaf. Did fun, you go to a Meat Loaf concert with me, yeah, Mum? Yeah, fun fact. My very yeah. first gig was going nice. to see Meat Loaf with me, Mum. Nice. So, you know, that's, that's <laughs> how it is, isn't it? I was 14, I think, 13, 14. And yeah, nice. very first concert. It was at the uh, Liverpool Summer Pops. Uh, oh, okay. It was on the on the pier with a big massive circus tent they made, and they had a uh, all sorts. It was really really cool, amazing. Do you remember someone robbing my mum's camera, or I made that up? Might... Someone cut the cut the strap off the camera. Maybe I can't I was... remember. It's a long time ago. Something like that. It was only like a little camera. Anyway, yeah. he also discovered um, GNR. I don't know what I've, I've Guns and Roses. Oh, there you go. I <laughs> You've heard of them. I was like, GNR. I know is, that, is that a disease? Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, doctor, it's itching again, the GNR. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, Axel, like Axel and Co. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Can't knock a bit of gunny. What do you prefer, Paradise City or Sweet Child of Mine? Sweet Child of Mine. Sweet... Really? Mm-hmm. I like a bit of Paradise City. I do I, like I Sweet do like Child a bit of Paradise City, but Sweet Child of yeah. Mine. It's a secret answer three, November Rain, though. Uh, yeah. Mm. I, I like a slow ballad. Yeah, get that. <laughs> and the, the, the other one he discovered, which you're going to love, is the Hamilton soundtrack. Fuck, he did, yes. <laughs> Speaking of battle laps, there's two good ones in that. Yeah, if you've not watched Hamilton yet, watch it. It's yeah. it's phenomenal. And the soundtrack, like I said, hundreds of times, literally listen to it hundreds yeah. of times. That's the best. We had uh, Stephen Perry. He's um, found Stevie Wonder. He's rediscovered Stevie Wonder. Oh, right. Um, That's a pretty fun cool. fact about Stevie Wonder, do you know yeah. what his first hit was? 
Uh, no. Lamp poster. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. I remember we had, we had an old relative who uh, used to walk with a stoop and a ciggy hanging out of his mouth, and he used to just walk into lamp posts all the time. Poor Tommy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy. Um, yeah, so we discussed Stevie Wonder. I I really like Stevie Wonder. Yeah, he's great. You, Stevie Wonder's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, like, unbelievable. The, the, amount, the amount of songs people have covered that have, were originally yeah. Stevie Wonder songs. Absolutely, yeah. It's amazing. His voice is so unique as well. I think yeah, it's definitely. Incredible. And he's still got it as well. Have you? If you hear him recently, he's still got it. Yeah. Like, he was on. I think he was on Car- Carpool Karaoke. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. You know, just still still going. Yeah. And, uh, I remember. Was it? I think Eddie Murphy or someone used to joke saying, "You can see." He's just I was going to say about... there's a conspiracy about him yeah. singing. <laughs> yeah, he said, but then again, he said, some was it somebody else? Oh, who was it now? I'm sure it was like George Bush or Trump or someone tried to high five, yeah. tried to high five Stevie Wonder. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's not a good idea. Sounds like Trump. Yeah. And uh, Tracy Kenwright, she discovered Super Tramp. Super Tramp, um, right? Yeah, I, uh, oh, I don't know whether that's outside, outside the Asda or a band. Or I'm not, <laughs> she should know, I'm joking. <laughs> what are you like? Yeah, Super, um, super Tramp are old school. Yeah. Super Trump sang the song. Let me think. We are young. We are free. I think so. Yeah, I always get Super Trump and Supergrass mixed up. I think. Oh yeah, that might be Supergrass. Yeah, so that's why I've not commented because oh, I was going to say that. Much. But yeah, it's, so it's one of them. I put myself out there, Chris. It, it's one of them. Mind. They're definitely a nineties uh, Brit indie pop thing. Yeah. So see, yeah, I'm, I'm, I visualise him with big sideburns. That's what I'm definitely, yeah. definitely, yeah, and pop and mank bowl. That's the, uh, that's the one. <laughs> Mank bowl. That's where it is. It's sideburns that start like you know, go all the way down, hang off, and then tie into your shoelaces. <laughs> that's the one, yeah. Mutton chops. Oh <laughs> man, you like my music, you know. It's... In the sunshine. <laughs> and every K has got like four Ks in it. That's how they say them. Little, I'm going to little. Do you shop. like my music? <laughs> <laughs> Can I nick you back? Does Always very home? sharp on them. They're the opposite to us. You say we we say give your bike. Yeah, yeah. Like give me your bike. <laughs> Lucio said I got me to say crying rather than crying. Like it's really hard for me to say crying. crying. I like crying. Like, yeah, that's crying, the, the NG like, isn't doesn't really exist in Scouse, is it? Yeah, I say that like yeah. I, like I'm still Scouse. You know what I mean? Oh, H's. I really struggle to say like, oh, how, like house. I'd say like house or like yeah. Hannah or Anna. Like I really G- struggle with Andy. Hospital rather than hospital. Like I really, really struggle with it. The Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> the Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. That's why we shot and everything. I remember when I was a kid, I thought I thought hospice was short for hospital. <laughs> so I remember, I remember years ago, I went to see me Auntie Lizzie with my dad. Oh yeah. Back when she was there, and I texted mum saying, "Oh, Auntie Lizzie's in in hospice." My mum was like, "What? What is she all right?" She, I was like, "Yeah, she's she's gone for a checkup." She's like, "What hospice?" And I was like, "Yeah, like hospital." She was like, yeah. "No, it doesn't mean hospital." <laughs> Oh well, a few years later you were right, so you know. Every yeah, every cloud. Right. Every cloud. R I P. Oh god. So that's two dead relatives down. Who else are we gonna talk about today? <laughs> so, so on a happier note, so go on, who else have we got discovering people or are we leaving it there for this week? What's up to um, you? we'll leave it out there if you want to. I wanna do a special mention because yes. last week I feel like we didn't do it justice yeah, uh, the questions we, we, that we We kinda got. blasted through a few last week because someone forgot yeah. to write them down, so Yeah, yeah, my fault. Busy it's all good. It's all good. So yeah, go on, give you special yeah, we we had loads and loads of answers last week about um, famous people that you've met from mm-hmm. people like Nelson Mandela, Nelson wow. Mandela, Nelson Mandela, You're close. just <laughs> Princess Diana, Maggie Thatcher, Shaq, a lot. But one that really stood out to me was Kevin Coga, Coughlin. No. That's the one we went through this before the podcast. Coughlin, yes, Kevin Coughlin. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Coughlin. If it's not, I apologise, but that's normally what it would be. We'll go with Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, big old um, Kev. He met David Attenborough. No, not only did he meet David Attenborough, he met David Attenborough in the National History Museum and spent several hours with him. That is just, that would be the best thing. If that isn't, like, history porn, if if that's not got, like, little geography history students in the corner. (laughs) I'd love him just to narrate everything that's there, even not related to the museum. Like, and here we have the vending machine. (laughs) Simply put your money in the slot and find yourself a Fanta. (laughs) That'd be so good. I'd love every second of that. I need oh, a wee. <laughs> David Attenborough needs protecting. Like he really, he does. really does. What he really a does. legend! He's great. Can he just stay forever? Like, if I was a genie and three wishes, David Attenborough staying alive forever would be up there. I don't think he'd appreciate that. You know, I think he's looking forward to the sweet release. Uh, Do you reckon he could like talk about his own fossils as he gets too old? <laughs> <laughs> this used to be my fibia. <laughs> now, after years of settlement, it has become a fossil. 
poor David after the run. Oh, God. I've already crucified his uh, impression a few weeks ago. And now it's, called and now it's my turn. Oh, <laughs> poor lad. So yeah, that was um, that was yeah. Well, that was good. So All thank you, questions. folks, for writing stuff in. We really yeah. deeply appreciate it. Um, so that leads us on to this week's question, which I forgot to tell you what it was, Jack. Um, I also oh, forgot yeah. to ask you if you had one, so I just made one. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. <laughs> so my question for this week, and you can do the next two weeks as I've stole these okay, ones. Okay, that's fine. When everything is back to normality after lockdown, and I mean yeah. normal, normal, if we ever have normal again, uh, what are you most looking forward to doing? So that could be eating at your favorite Ooh. restaurant or going to see a, a play or whatever it is you want to do. What are you most looking forward to? So that's the question, folks. You write into us. Let us know what you plan to do. That's a great after one. All this. I think it is a great You've one. Done well you. there. You've done well. Sometimes I do. Um, so if you reach out to us on our socials, we are hunting for funny on all the platforms. You can yeah. email us. Uh, it's huntingforfunny at gmail.com. Uh, you can leave a comment below if you're watching on YouTube. By the way, if you are watching on YouTube, do us a favor. Just click subscribe. It's right there. It's dead easy. Yeah. Um, we, we really appreciate everybody who's been listening and reviewing and rating and sharing it with friends. The more of you that do that, the better, because we, between us, we have a small circle of friends, and they yeah. listen to the podcast, but we're trying to get it further out than people we actually know. So if you share yeah. it with your friends, that shares it to other circles. See where and I'm then we're all this? friends, and then we can all sit in the circle and sing, come by our and hold hands, and we we'll can. be a guitar, I'll we'll do Wonderwall the at the end, the little fire in the middle, we'll have schmoes, it'll be incredible. It'll be I think banging. we just share it out, we won't be banging, we've got a girlfriend, keep that. Episode, <laughs> episode 100, we'll have a, f- a, a, a bonfire with oh, marshmallows yes. that'd be great for episode the 100 hunting. you should come round we'll do that Hunters we've got a fire festival. pit in the back we've got a gazebo we can hook we'll, it up to we'll, do the podcast we'll do that. outside we'll do that yeah nice. even if we have to film it on our phone we'll do it I was thinking more like a festival like we'll get all our fans by 100 but yeah mm. if you want to stay in your back garden we can, we can back garden's fine <laughs> be us and the wives uh, <laughs> what, what we can do as well is we're vast approaching 500 likes on Facebook we are that's, I know, where's that come from yeah it's like I, boom I, I, for, I thank you very much for everyone who's yes. uh, liking subscribing and subscribing um, so what we're going to do uh, um, sorry when we get to 500 likes <laughs> on Facebook late, yeah. we are going to have a special guest join us for right. a little bit on the podcast are we yeah that's cool I'm going to um, see if I can. Is it what? I, is it who people. we've been talking about recently? I think it's who we've had in the pipeline for a nice, potential. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm looking forward to that. Get it sorted. Oh, looking forward to that. It's actually a real famous person, like not like knobheads like us. Well, yeah. a bit of a knobhead. I mean, one like... of us got a blue tick, and one of us hasn't. <laughs> I'm the knobbiest, knobbiest of knobheads, apparently. Um, but you know what? Screw you. <laughs> and, uh, that's cool. I'm looking forward to that. So we want to yeah. get we want to get to 500 likes on the Facebook page. We want to get to yeah. uh, 50. Subscribers, subscribers on YouTube, YouTube as soon as we can. Yeah, um, yeah. I think if we can, I think we can get both those to happen at the same time. Yeah, that should be help. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So yeah, folks, tell everybody you know. You've already, you've already stopped listening by now. We've rambled for a yeah. while. But if you're still here, thank you, and tell everyone you know. Yeah. And subscribe and like and whatnot. Um, keep safe. Stay well. Keep safe. Cover your yeah. nose up with your mask. Wear a mask. Wear it over these holes in this hole, right? Yeah. Don't cut keep a hole your... in it to smoke. Stupid. Basically, keep your holes to yourself. Whatever hole you've got, keep it to yourself. It's good life That's... advice. Yeah. Really. Just it's just general. Yeah. Keeps you off registers, keep you away from COVID. Like it's win win, really. Win win. No Rona, no no Uncle Rona in prison. <laughs> they mean to turn that on. Um, <laughs> if, the, if the episode title for this isn't like keep all your holes to yourself, I don't, I don't know what It is now. <laughs> I think of them later, but that's just done it for me. So keep holes to self. Holes to self. Okay, there we go. There's the name of the episode, folks. So on that note, we were going to leave it there for this week, I think. Thank you all yeah. for listening so, so much. We will see you next week for another episode of Our Shenanigans and Tom Foolery. See you. you later, folks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. <laughs>